Hello YouTube, welcome to this quick video uh, just to discuss a app I am using here for my uh, M1 MacBook Air that allows me to keep the device awake for a defined period of time or based on an application or based on what activities I'm doing you know, to allow that activity to finish. So the app here is called Ephedamine. It's a free app you can download in the App Store. Um, and once it's downloaded, it'll sit up here in your top menu bar and allows you to customize your uh, keep alive settings uh, for your MacBook. Um, so for example here, uh, wh you know, where I would use this app, for example, is if I'm uploading something to my YouTube channel, if I was downloading, downloading something like a, a large ISO file, you know, uploading or downloading to cloud storage, um, if I wanted to display certain data on my screen that I wanted to keep alive if I was in a meeting and work and I didn't want it to close in the background. Uh, you know, these are some examples of where I would use this software. Uh, now, I know you can make some of these changes from within the energy settings of the MacBook itself, but th there's also, you know, it, you always have to remember to go back and, you know, turn, turn the energy savings back on and remember to go in and, you know, there's a few more steps to get in and, and get those options turned on. You have a lot more custom customizing customization that you can do from within here. So looking at the app, once you install it, Fedamine free in the app store, uh, you'll have a number of options here that you can do to start a new session. So for example, I could kick off a session here for one hour if I knew that my video upload was going to take less than that. And uh, for that period of time, then here, the Mac will stay awake. It allowed the download or the upload to finish. Uh, once this hour is over, it goes back then to its normal uh, energy saving settings. Um, I can just end that session there. So, you know, from within here, you have a number of different options, such, you know, based on time indefinitely, based on a app that's running, based, you know, if a file is downloading, um, you know, a lot of customization here into how you would use this app. It works great in workflows where you need your Mac to do something and you want to walk away for a period of time. Also within the app, there is a number of options to customize how it works from within preferences. So for example, you can uh, allow the display to sleep while you're um, you know, downloading or uploading. You can have it uh, lock the Mac after a certain period of time once it starts. So you know, if you wanted to keep it uh, secure so that every time you start this off, it'll, it'll lock the Mac for you after a period of time. Um, listen, I'm not going to go through all the options here, um, but from my period of time using it, uh, for the workflow that I've used it for, it's, I find it absolutely great. Um, give it a try. Um, it's a, it solved the problem that I had, because I said when I was uploading some videos to YouTube, for example, you know, I'd really need to be around the Mac or change the energy settings to, to keep that Mac awake or, or keep uh, moving the trackpad here every so often to keep it alive. But, um, you know, with this app now, I can just, you know, kick off that upload, kick off that download, set the timer and walk away. And I know that when I come back, it'll have fully completed the task. Um, I won't ramble on anymore here. Check it out. See how you get on. You know, simple install. Uh, very simple to use. The minute you install it and open it, it appears up here. It'll start up with your Mac when it starts up and even to just take it at its basics, you can just you know hit the session here for a period of time uh, and, and let it do its thing. Um, but so far it's worked great on this M1 MacBook Pro. Listen, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you found some use of it. Hope you get some use from this app as it is one of my favorites here. Uh, I might do some follow-up videos later on with some other apps that I use that I find very handy. But um, you know this is definitely one of the better ones for, for my workflow. Uh, thanks again for watching and goodbye.